Hi, and welcome to episode 26 of the Antiphonary Walkthrough. We have arrived at the verso of folio 12. This is the end of a previous responsory, the end of a verse of a responsory. It's the, if you want to know, the Egredietur Dominus that we have seen in a previous episode. And now the Lords have started. These are the Lords of the fourth day in the week before Christmas. The Lords start with a nice, uh, very nice, uh, E of Ecce Venia Dominus. And it actually stops here with this dot. And um, we have to be quite careful here because, you, as you can see, Ecce Dom, Ecce Veniet Dominus is exactly the same melody, the same words as Ecce Veniet Dominus. But instead of this one, which goes on with Ut Sedeat, the one here. Um, is incomplete because of the fact that we have seen this antiphon already on a previous page. To be quite precise, in episode 22, uh, you can take a look at the first antiphon of Lords on the folio of the verse of, um, of folio 10. So we are in Lords, and this is the 15th century situation. But as you know, this manuscript has been altered in the 16th century, and here in the margin, we have the new order for the antiphons of Lords. First one being the Profete, this one. Actually, here is also Prima added. And then the second one is still in the same place. It's the Spiritus Domini. The third one, the fourth, the fifth. And the fourth is the Eceveniet. Yes, but unless it would be on a Saturday, in that case, you would sing another one, uh, which you will find on folio uh, 15. So quite a lot of information here. Let's scroll down. Uh, we see the Missus Est Gabriel to be sung with the Benedictus Canticle in Lords. And then we go on with the uh, lesser hours, being prime, tets, sext, and so on. So at primam, at tertiam, at sextam, at nonam. It's quite exceptional that there is specific music indicated for a, for instance, in this case, a prime. Now, this Ave Maria is a quite famous uh, antiphon. It's the Ave Maria Gratia Plena. Ave Maria Gratia Plena. And um, it's quite exceptional because in most sources you will find this antiphon with um, a B flat or a D above this A. So, Ave Maria, or um, Ave Maria. And um, it's a very famous antiphon, uh, has, which has been used a lot in uh, polyphony. For instance, in the Missa Ave Maria of uh, Pierre de la Rue, you can recognize these first notes here. I'll give you a short extract. That was Capilla Flamenca singing. So, and scrolling to the bottom of the page, all that's left is the indication for the fifth feria. So we have moved on until the Thursday in the week before Christmas with a new responsory, Due Mini Quantus, with its verse that will continue on the next page and into the next episode. Thanks for listening. Keep watching.